Hi, I'm George, and this is How to Use BorrowBox on Your Smartphone. BorrowBox is an app that allows you to borrow and download free audiobooks with your library membership on Android and iOS. I'm on an Android device, so the first thing to do is visit the Google Play Store. Tap in the search bar near the top and start typing BorrowBox. The app we want, BorrowBox Library, should come up as a suggestion. Tap this and then tap the install button. You will then see the progress of the app downloading and installing. When it has finished, press open to launch the app. Start typing the name of your library, in my case Taunton, and tap the name of your library authority. Here it is Libraries West. Then you need to type in your library membership number and your PIN before pressing sign in. Next, enter your email and an optional display name. If you want to subscribe to any newsletters, you can tick the boxes below. You might receive an internal error when submitting your information. Just press quit and relaunch the app from the home screen of your phone and it will work fine. Now we've reached the main screen of BorrowBox and it's empty at the moment, so I'm going to show you how to borrow your first title. Tap on e-audiobooks at the bottom middle of the screen and browse some of the featured titles. Tap on the cover artwork of the book you want to borrow. This will take you to the book's details page. Press the green borrow button and confirm the loan. To start listening now, press download now. I want the entire book, so I'm going to tap on the green downward arrow icon to begin the download. You'll then be brought to the audio player screen. This allows you to control playback of the book. The play pause button is in the middle. To the left and right of that are the track skip backwards and forwards buttons, and on the outside are the skip backwards and forwards 30 seconds buttons. There's a volume slider underneath that, and above the controls is a green dot you can drag to move to different parts of the book. You may want to search for a particular author or title. Since I want to borrow a title straight away, I'm going to tick the Available Only checkbox to exclude titles that are currently on loan. It's the exact same steps to confirm the loan, but I won't download it at the moment. I've gone back to My Loans. If you no longer acquire a book, you can press the Return button. If there's a waiting list for it, the next person in the queue will get it quicker, so it's always good to return when you can. Alternatively, if it hasn't been reserved and you need more time, press the Renew button. If an item is on loan, you can reserve it and be notified when it becomes available. Here I'm searching for another title. It has orange on loan text and a date available. Press the orange reserve button to join the waiting list. There's no charge for this, as everything on BorrowBox is free. You can also create reading lists of books you want to come back to. You just need to find a title, hold down for a second or two on the book's cover, and tap Add to Reading List. You can also do this when browsing titles. To review your reading list, go to My Loans and tap My Reading Lists near the top. To remove unwanted titles, hold down again on the cover for a couple of seconds and choose remove from reading list, or press the three vertical dots to bring up the same menu. If you just want to explore the catalogue, you can go to e-audiobooks, and at the top are different methods of sorting you can apply, by intended age group, as well as featured books, categories, genres, and all releases. 
So hopefully now you're a pro at using BorrowBox on your smartphone. If you found the video helpful, please like and share it with your friends. Make sure to follow us on social media to get our latest posts. And thanks for watching.